Hello everybody, my name is Sam from Code Bundle, and today I've got another assembly tutorial lined up for you. So in today's episode we're going to go over making a basic chat client. So let's start up by building a list of things that this chat client is going to need to do. Open with site. So, first of all, it's going to need to ask the user what is your name. Then the user is going to tell it its name, and then it's going to say hello to the user. Okay, so let's start building up a list of things we're going to need. Well, we are going to need a collection of bytes that say what is your name and the length of them to print them. So we will do name and name L. This one will be DB what is your name. And this one will be EQ dollar sign hyphen name. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, you need to go back to the previous tutorial as it explains all of these basic concepts. Okay, then we are going to need um, hello and hello L for the length of hello. And this is going to have to be hello space. Uh, that should have. No, no, let's not do a line carry there. And EQ dollar sign hyphen hello. Okay, so now we've got a basis for that. Now for this, we're also going to need a variable to store the name in. So here's our first new bit of syntax. This is the reserve syntax and we are going to reserve with res and we need to reserve a, in bytes, the same way as we define in bytes, 255 of them. So let's just give ourselves a nice chunky sum of bytes. And then that's about it. That's all that will be needed to run the basic chat client. Uh, we don't need the name of this, seeing as it's okay, when the user inputs their name, all of the other things in there will be null. So it will just go through them and won't have any problems printing them. We don't need a 10 at the end of here, because it's just going to go on to say my name after here. So let's go ahead and boot up my code text editor and create a new file for all of this. So I'm going to set up chat.asm. Let's go ahead and throw down um, the right syntax. Set syntax equals nasm. Set number. Okay, so now we've got our line numbers turned on. Set up section dot data, section dot bss, and section dot text. What did I spell wrong here? Ah, set sion. And that is where syntax highlighting is useful. Then here, global start and start. Okay, so our data section, we're going to set up name and what is your name and the length of name. As the length of name. Then we need hello. and the length of hello ah oh, my spacing's off that's frustrating okay so with those set up we then need to do our reserve bytes so we are going to do uh, name var uh, name underscore v for the name variable and we are going to reserve bytes, we'll reserve 255 of them. Now onto our text section. Let's go ahead and set up a basic print function and we're going to print name out as follows. Then we need to get user input, so it's time for me to teach you a new system call. 
The system call we're interested in is 3. And this uh, 3 is what we use in order to collect user input. Now I'm just going to pause the video for a second before I go into setting this up to make sure this first section's worked. Okay guys, I'm back, sorry about that. So, into the EAX register we need to put 3, because we're going to be using the third system call, which is sysread. Now with system read, the EBX register has to have 0 in it if we're going to read from the standard input, which is the terminal. Then, into mov ECX, we're going to put the place we want to put things, and we want to put the thing that gets input into name v, and then we need to put the maximum size of name v, which is 255. Then we need to put uh, call that one with int 80 hex and put 4 back in there and then we want hello that's right, 1 there mov ecx hello mov edx hello length interrupt 80 and now all we do is print it as if it was a constant so mov ex4 mov ebx one mov ecx name v mov edx255 and then let's go ahead and put one in there and set up the exit system call Okay, now this is set up, we can go ahead and compile this the same way as we did last video. Uh, nasm hyphen f elf, I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, now we've got an error. Symbol name v undefined. Let's have a look at that. Ah. I think I used a lowercase v by mistake here. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's an easy fix, so let's just go in and fix it. Okay, that's now fixed. Okay, then we will link it. And now if we run the chat program, it's asked what my name is. Well, my name is Sam and said hello Sam. Then segmentation faltered on me. Let's go do some debugging. Well, the first problem was there was no space after what is your name, so it looked very unnatural and messy. And the next problem was it seg faulted rather than exiting the program because I had a EAX there where I should have had an EBX. So let's go ahead, right click and compile link it again. We run the chat program and it's much more natural. I say my name is Samuel and it says hello Samuel then exits the program. So this is the basis for an extremely basis, basic chat program and you could go on expanding that for quite a long time. So how is this working? Well when you get your user input it's putting it and the enter key you use to move the line on uh, into the name v variable and the rest of that is filled up with null space and when it prints it down here it prints new line tons of null space which doesn't do anything and then just drops back to the terminal so it doesn't matter that we didn't tell it how long it was because all there was after that was null space for 255 bytes and we know that as fact which is why it's safe for us to make it so simple and not have a complicated sh uh, setup figuring out the length in the next session I'm going to be going over getting user input in a different manner by using the stack and arguments passed to a program and for this we are going to need to create a formula that will allow us to calculate something's length. Thank you for watching. My name has been Sam. Goodbye.